Good evening. My name is Michael Andrews, and it's great that you're able to join me this evening as I host this evening's concert from my very own home in London. We would love to welcome you to this festival of hope. Prom Praise is an event that we have held at the Royal Albert Hall for several decades, and despite packing out the venue to capacity audiences over many years, we have never been able to throw open the concert to a limitless audience like this. So we're so pleased you're joining us from wherever you are watching around the world. Please do comment below in the video chat to let us know where you are watching from this evening. Well, if you are new to Prom Praise this evening, we are going to introduce you to some of the best content from the last decade of concerts. Orchestral favourites, choral classics, operatic solos, classic and contemporary hymns, praise and worship songs, and so much more, along with some items put together especially for this evening by well-known guest artists. Stay tuned for all sorts of uplifting music, including songs from the Kingdom Choir, Matt Redman, Reuben Morgan, and a specially prepared version of God is Our Strength and Refuge, performed by 225 members of the All Souls Orchestra and Prom Prebs Mast Choir from all over the world. That is not to be missed. Ah, I think I hear the orchestra tuning up. It's time to get ready for the concert. Ah, that's better. Well, you are about to enter the Royal Albert Hall for our first item. So it's time to take your seat, grab your popcorn, pour yourself a drink, because the concert's about to start. Now, it's possible some of you are watching this evening because you saw a clip of our virtual orchestra on the BBC News several weeks ago. And the song we chose for that segment was In Christ Alone. And that's a bit of a theme for this evening. And so as we lift the curtain on this evening's Festival of Hope, we're going to start with a fantastic In Christ Alone overture written by a brilliant orchestrator in the US, David Hamilton. It's a setting the orchestra loves to play and we're going to follow that straight afterwards with one of the world's most loved, well-known hymns. Join us as we celebrate the hope that we have in Christ Alone.
wow, what an incredible way to start our evening together. Well, when we started planning Prom Praise about a year ago, we sensed that the theme should be to the ends of the earth. Little did we know how true that was going to be now that we're broadcasting this concert all over the world to wherever you're watching from. We feel that in these uncertain times that we need to be holding out the message of God's life, love and hope and sharing it with the world through the language of music. In a few moments time we're going to be led by Reuben Morgan in one of his most well-known and well-loved worship songs, Mighty to Save. It's got these great lines, shine your light and let the whole world see. In fact, creation itself tells of God's wonder and glory. Think of songs like Feeling Good or The Heavens Are Telling from Haydn's Creation, which sets Psalm 19 to music. We're going to hear those two items before Reuben takes to the stage alongside a beautiful prom praise solo, stunningly orchestrated by the one and only Noel Tridinick. And it talks of the beauty of God's creation and says that the most wonderful things in this life are just a mere reflection of God's love and hope to us. So just listen to these poignant words from verse three, particular comfort for the times that we're living in. He's like calm in place of clamour, like peace that follows pain, like meeting after parting, like sunshine after rain. So is my Lord, my living Lord, so is my Lord to me. So, without further ado, please welcome to the virtual Royal Albert Hall stage our wonderful massed prom praise choir, Joanne Lunn, Helen Jane Howells, Beverly Trotman and Reuben Morgan. <laughs> Yeah. 
Birds flying high You know how I feel Reeds drift on by You know how I feel It's a new dawn A new day A new life For me And I'm feeling Fish in the sea, you know how I feel. River running free, you know how I feel. Blossom on the tree, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, a new day. Can fly out in the sun. You know what I mean, don't you know? Butterflies all having fun. You know what I mean. Sleep in peace till day is done. That's what I mean. And this old world, new world, old world, oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah.
still to come. From Korea, classical pianist Grace Yeo. Karen Gibson and the world-renowned Kingdom Choir. And the prom praise virtual choir and orchestra in a stunning anthem. Looking to know more about what's coming next? Download a virtual program for tonight's concert at allsoulsmusic.org. Now, greetings from American music artist, singer-songwriter Paul Baloche. I'm Paul Baloche, and I guess I'm an old friend of the All Souls Orchestra. A lot of good friends there. Love getting to work with Noel over the years and the All Souls Orchestra. And also this past Christmas, I had the, the blessing of being with Michael, Michael Andrews and the All Souls Orchestra. And we had a few evenings of Christmas worship together. So many fond memories of worshiping with thousands of you at the Royal Albert Hall. A few times we did that and just uh, joining our hearts together, lifting our voices in that wonderful place, a historic place. and. Um, one of the songs we did um, is from Proverbs 18. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous are unto it and are saved. The name of the Lord in this season, just saying the name Jesus. Jesus, there's power in his name. There's hope in his name. There really is. Call upon his name right now. Say, Jesus, in your name we pray, come. Come and fill our hearts today. God, give us strength to live for you. Lord Jesus, in your name we pray, come and fill our hearts today. Lord, give us strength to live for you and glorify your name, your name. Is a strong and mighty tower. Your name is a shelter like no other. Your name, let the nation sing it louder. Cause nothing has the power to save. But your name is a strong and mighty tower. Your name is a shelter like no other. Your name, Jesus, let the nation sing it louder, because nothing has the power to save. If you're interested in exploring the hope that we are singing about this evening, then please think about visiting the link which is coming up on the screen right now. Thank you so much, Paul, for joining us at Virtual Prom Praise. But this year at the Royal Albert Hall, we plan to welcome two fantastic singer-songwriters, Brian Dirksen and Lucy Grimble. And thankfully, through the power of technology, they've been able to pair up, even though they're on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean from each other, to give you something really special this evening. So please welcome Brian Dirksen from Canada and Lucy Grimble from here in London. Greetings, Prom Praise family in the UK. Brian Dirksen here in Canada at my home in Abbotsford, British Columbia. I was so thrilled to get the invitation to be a part of Prom Praise this year and gutted when COVID-19 stopped it from happening in person. But here we are. It's virtual Prom Praise, and I'd love to do a duet of a song of mine that I wrote over 30 years ago. Um, faithful one. I wrote it shortly after the birth of our first daughter, Rachel. I was overwhelmed with gratitude and the responsibility of parenthood, and this was my prayer that day, and it still is today. I'm going to sing this, my part here in Canada, and Lucy Grimble is going to join me over there in the UK. We're going to do a virtual duet for the Virtual Prom Praise 2020. Yeah. 
faithful one so unchanging ageless one you're my rock of I depend on you And I call out to you Again and again And I call out to you Again and again You are my rock In times of trouble You lift me up When I My hope is in you alone. I call out to you again and again. And I call out to you again and again. You are my.
As well as great visiting guest artists, Promprays has a long history of showcasing some great instrumental solos emerging out of the All Souls Orchestra family. One of the classics is this performance by Grace Yo of a movement from Grieg's Piano Concerto. At the time, Grace was a student member of All Souls. In 2018, she married and returned home to Korea. We've been able to catch up with her there. Good morning. Today is a Saturday morning, so I'm more relaxed. So I've got some bagel and the bacon and egg and uh, some tomatoes, more likely American style breakfast. <laughs> my practice room and this is a special uh, room like um, you it can be the soundproof so I can practice anytime like 24 hours even 2 a.m. Especially for the All Souls family. Um, first of all, I miss you so much. And then the All Souls has been my spiritual home in London. So I so so dying to see you all. And I'm so pleased to be able to join the prom praise for this time. So I hope I hope you all enjoy it and then stay safe and spend time with the family wisely. I hope to catch up with you soon and play with you soon in the near future so stay safe bye bye music is very powerful thing it really moves us and brings us joy and comfort. And music is a universal language which makes us one. I always feel grateful to God when I'm playing the piano. Two main things are always in my heart and mind. Firstly, I want to glorify God with my playing. Whatever I am, either at home or church, or even any world of famous venues is always the same and doesn't matter about the places. Secondly, I want my the performance, the playing brings the people the peace and the hope from God. I hope today my Greek piano concerto the performance brings you the joy and peace from heaven and comfort you, especially in these very hard times.
wasn't that incredible. Thank you so much, Grace, for sharing those wonderful videos all the way from South Korea with us. I imagine for many of you at home, you must be wondering how many hours of practice Grace has poured into practicing scales and arpeggios. Does that take you back to your piano lessons when you were a child? I imagine it might. It might instill fear in you. Anyway, you might have noticed that I'm no longer in my Royal Albert home. I'm in the Royal Albert Hall. And for those of you that have known the All Souls Orchestra for some time, you will know that the Royal Albert Hall holds a very special place for the All Souls Orchestra after performing at the Royal Albert Hall for several decades. And last year was a very special year in the history of All Souls music. Noel Tredinick, the founder of All Souls Music, had been conducting the All Souls Orchestra for 48 years as director of music at All Souls Langham Place. And before he handed the baton to myself, we marked Noel's incredible years at the helm of the orchestra with two very special concerts. The first of which was Prom Praise for Schools last year, which welcomes 3,000 school children and 2,000 parents and teachers from all over London and the home counties to share the wonderful good news presented through the Bible. And last year, we marked it with by telling the Exodus story from the Bible with a massive pyramid in the middle of the Royal Albert Hall and lots of West End actors and a wonderful performance of Blinded by Your Grace by Stormzy, performed by the Twyford Gospel Choir. Well, now we're going to hear a very special performance of that same song, sung by special guests that we welcomed at Noel's final prom praise, the Kingdom Choir. And they were joined by a whole array of special guests at last year's concert, including Graham Kendrick, Martin Smith, Noel Robinson, Lou Fellingham and many others. So please welcome to the Royal Albert Hall stage, the Kingdom Choir.
you Kingdom Choir. Poignant words, aren't they? Lord, I've been broken. Although I'm not worthy, you fixed me. Now I'm blinded by your grace. You came and saved me. That's the hope that we as an orchestra hold in all souls and we've wanted to share that with you this evening through our Festival of Hope. If you feel broken or not worthy of God's love or perhaps at a time like this full of uncertainty and not knowing what tomorrow holds, you need to know that God's offer of love and grace is for you. There is hope that can be found in knowing our Creator and later on, we're looking forward to welcoming Hugh Palmer to share a little more about the hope that we have been singing about this evening. But before that, we would just like to take a moment to say thank you to Noel Trudinick, our conductor emeritus for directing the music at this evening's concert and to our incredible orchestra, prom praise, mass choir and special guests for joining us from all over the world. And of course, many of you watching this are partners and supporters of All Souls Music. You've helped to make this evening possible. You know who you are, and we just want to say to each and every one of you a humongous thank you. Thank you so much. And if you would love to help us to continue to create wonderful music and to share the message of hope around the world that we've been talking about this evening, then you can find out more about All Souls Music by visiting our website, and you can find more details about how you can partner with us by going to the link that is coming up on the screen right now. Well, the show isn't finished just yet. We have lots more to come in the next half hour. So let's remind ourselves of what is coming up next. Coming up, sing along with Matt Redman and the All Souls Orchestra in 10,000 Reasons. Graham Kendrick. It's telling me that there's nothing one-dimensional or even two-dimensional about this Christ. The All Souls rector, Hugh Palmer. Explore and explore and explore. The Prom Praise Virtual Choir and Orchestra. Now, more greetings from London Community Gospel Choir leader Basil Mead and Keith Getty. Greetings to all the Prom Praise International family. This is Basil Mead, uh, known for my connection with the London Community Gospel Choir. Very, very happy to greet you and to uh, send uh, encouragement to you out there during this very difficult time being locked in our homes. It's very challenging for me. I certainly am not accustomed to this. I am a survivor or recoverer from the virus. I had a big fight with the, the virus during March. And thank God I'm here to share that story. It was very difficult. It took me to places of emotions and uh, in a thinking that I had not visited at all, but God has brought me through it. And I'm very pleased to say that I trusted in God for that. I had the great privilege of meeting Mike Andrews, where we jammed on the piano in All Souls Langham Place, uh, when we met to discuss the uh, program for the 2nd of May that we were going to be involved in. Uh, it's not happening, but I look forward to seeing everybody at some point in the near future we were very excited about doing it and we still are looking forward to it god bless you stay safe and well hi there everyone and greetings from nashville tennessee we are honored to be a tiny part of the first ever virtual prom praise. Kristen, I and, and Stuart Townend as well have been huge fans over the years on television, on radio, on CDs, and we've all even had the privilege of being able to participate. Um, when I think about all that we've gone through this year, all everybody, all many of you I'm sure are going through how we need uh, events like this. And we're so thrilled that, that Michael and the team were 
able to able to pull this off. You know, we we need beautiful art. We need to declare the things that we're sure about, and we need to sing about them. I remember one year at Prom Praise, Noel did uh, Vaughan Williams' Mystical Songs, and that beautiful poem by George Herbert. It was the first time I'd ever heard it. Rise, heart, thy Lord is risen. Sing his praise without delay, who takes thee by the hand, that thou likewise may with him rise. And uh, that poem was written, called The Tempest, written in 1633, just after one of the great plagues uh, that hit England. So that's that's the introduction for tonight. Um, I was sitting in this seat when a friend sent me this extraordinary new arrangement that Michael Andrews has done of In Christ Alone. So the encouragement tonight is to all of you, wherever you are, to sing with gusto and to sing without delay about our hope in Christ alone. <laughs> Keith and Kristen and Stuart Townend for giving the world that great song of hope. And thank you to all of the All Souls musicians who played and sang on that clip. Stay tuned for another virtual 
anthem later this evening, combining over 225 members of the All Souls Orchestra and Prom Praise Choir from all over the world. Now, a staple part of each year's Prom Praise concert is a pause for thought, a chance to reflect on the themes that have been woven throughout the evening. And this evening's pause for thought is brought to us from the rector of All Souls Langham Place, Hugh Palmer. Hugh has served as rector of All Souls for the last 15 years. He has spoken at prom praise concerts at the Royal Albert Hall many times, and this evening is a particularly poignant moment for the All Souls family, as later this month Hugh will be retiring from his dedicated and fruitful ministry at All Souls. Thank you, Hugh, from the All Souls Orchestra and all of us at All Souls Music for your support over many years. Here's Hugh to share a thought on the living hope that we've been celebrating this evening. Michael, thank you so much. It's been wonderful to have Michael Andrews join the All Souls Music team to uh, lead it this year. Uh, and the musical talent, the gospel heart, the creative ideas, the technical know-how, have been fantastic as they've served us as a church family. I know for his first prom praise, Michael would have loved something different. He nearly got a complete wipeout, but they weren't going to allow that. And this idea of a festival of praise is a brilliant one. You don't have to be a news geek, do you, to uh, get fed up with talk of the virus. Whether you get your news by opening a newspaper or turning on the radio or watching the telly or just looking online, it's wall-to-wall -wall virus. The latest statistics in the virus, the latest trajectories for the virus, the latest blame game for the virus, uh, when this, uh, where that, uh, why the other. Uh, we're crying out for a touch of hope. Uh, of course, it needs to be something more substantial than just music's extraordinary ability to lift us out of ourselves uh, for the length of a, of a concert. If we uh, label that wonderful escapism hope, well, then we discover it's as fleeting as the morning mist. Now, the virus is a reality that needs a place at the table of life. Its danger, though, is that it sits on one chair, puts its coat on another, its bag on a third, spreads its papers all over the table. It is a reality for life, but it's not the only reality for life. That's why all through the concert, Michael has been pointing us to hope, and not just as a, an idea, a thought, a concept, but as a person. In his New Testament letter, Peter writes to young Christians and talks about how they've been given a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. You don't still believe that old wife's tale, do you? Someone said to me in the run-up to Easter, but I discovered they hadn't even begun to explore uh, the evidence for themselves. Uh, the tomb without a body the appearances to disciples, different ones at different times in different places, the transformed lives, the church that was founded and started. One Oxford professor said to me once, did I think that the Christian church spread across the Mediterranean seaboard because of the teaching, love your neighbor? I said, definitely not. That teaching had been around for hundreds of years before. It spread across the then known world on the fact of Jesus has risen. It's the reality, the living hope that needs a place at the table of life too, alongside the virus, trumping the virus, for Jesus took the, the heaviest punch that death could throw and overcame it and unlocked the door from the grave. The big question, of course, is why would Almighty God sit at my table? Why would a holy God sit at yours? Uh, uh, which of us belongs at God's table? Which is why the Christian message is so encouraging. A, a, a God who reached down, a Jesus who stepped down and lived alongside that he could bring us to God's table. Don Giuseppe Berardelli was a 72-year-old Italian priest who caught COVID-19. 
He was hospitalized with it just at the time when the Italian health service and hospitals were being completely overrun and overwhelmed. He was the kind of personality who would welcome any newcomer onto the ward and settle them in, but all the time the virus was eating away at him and his health was deteriorating. Eventually they told him he'd have to go on a ventilator, but he refused. Give the ventilator to someone younger, he said. And eventually they did. And the younger person survived and Berardelli died, giving just a glimpse of the love of the God he served, the Jesus who's his saviour. For you see, there is another pandemic, more universal than COVID-19, more infectious than COVID-19, more lethal than COVID-19, without treatment. Everyone who gets this disease dies. It's a disease the Bible calls sin. And Berardelli, he took the full force of the COVID disease on himself so that he could hand his ventilator to someone younger to be rescued. Jesus took the full force of the sin disease on himself on the cross so that he could hold out life to anyone who'd receive it. And the question for us tonight is, have we made room at our table of life? Have we made space for this living hope, this Jesus, to be part of our table and our life? There'll be some, many perhaps, who will want to think this through further and uh, uh, wrestle with these issues. We've got a website allsouls.org forward slash explore, uh, all kinds of material there for you to take in and think through, and uh, particularly an online course called Hope Explored that does just what it says, allows you to explore this hope more thoroughly. Do take advantage of it, please. But now we're going to sing one of the great modern songs based on some very ancient words of the psalmist who knew the downsides of life uh, all the way through, but also knew the God who's a living hope. And he writes to himself and encourages the rest of us, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Yeah. 
sung a lot of hymns tonight. My favourite hymn writer was Charles Wesley. In his very last hymn he wrote, age 81 on his deathbed, it says this. In age and feebleness extreme, who shall a helpless worm redeem? Jesus, my only hope thou art, strength of my failing flesh and heart. Oh, could I catch one smile from thee and drop into eternity? Does anyone feel that unshakable hope and love for Jesus Christ in this place tonight? Yes, on that day when my strength is failing, the end draws me and my time has come. Oh, Jesus, still my soul, sing your praise.
face of the Lord. Sing together. Be with you. Be with you. Now may the peace of the Lord be with you. Be with you. Graham Kendrick a huge debt for so many great songs over the years. Thank you very much, Graham. Uh, and that last song was based on a, a prayer that the Lord encouraged to be prayed for his people. Let me pray it for you now. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, more than 200 musicians came together. No, no one's allowed to come together these days, are they? More than 200 musicians stayed apart and have been assembled together online to bring us this next song. It's words based on words of the psalmist, but written by my predecessor as the rector of all souls, Richard Buse. The Lord is my strength and refuge, a great song of hope. Let's sing together. <laughs> Thank you. 
Though the earth should change, though we don't know what tomorrow could bring, we are invited to hold on to this living hope. God, the Lord of hosts, is with us evermore. Well, off the back of that incredible technological feat, I'd love to take this opportunity to thank our dedicated and talented tech team and our outstanding productions team who worked tirelessly to make this evening a reality. And a special thank you as well to the Royal Albert Hall for our ongoing partnership and for hosting this evening's concert. Make sure to share this evening's concert with family and friends who might have missed out. This Festival of Hope will live on online, so you can even come back and watch your favourite moments again. Do share your highlights from this evening in the comments below. I'd love to know what they were. Thank you for joining us from wherever you've watched this evening's concert. Come and join the All Souls Orchestra at a future event if you can, and in the meantime, Make sure to keep up with all of the All Souls Music news and to find out how you can partner with us by visiting our website, allsoulsmusic.org. And you can follow us on social media as well. All you have to do is search for All Souls Music on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. And finally, if you would like to explore Christian hope more deeply and read the Gospel of John with someone, you can connect with us by visiting allsouls.org slash explore. Now, here to end our evening together is the All Souls Orchestra, conducted by Noel Tredinick, with Pete Desmond's rousing arrangement of the classic spiritual, Oh, When the Saints Go Marching In. Thank you for joining us, and good night. <laughs>